Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, this is the scene of the crime here. This is a video I hoped I would never make, but yesterday I blew this 200, 200 amp uh, blade fuse, which was attached right there. And I'll change the camera location and show you exactly what I believe happened. So I made a couple of mistakes and uh, I want to make sure and point those out so nobody watching will ever do what I did. Making the mistakes so you don't have to. So what I was doing yesterday while everything was up and running so I was trying to measure uh, this wire here, which I was running off the positive side of the uh, Victron Blue charger up to a 50 amp breaker. And I was just trying to uh, cut this down to the shortest size and, and put another eyelet on uh, this end wherever I cut it. And I want to just go the shortest distance I could from... Uh, the bottom of that uh, breaker down to the the hot bus bar. So I was just, you know, trying to get a measurement about like that, doing that. And then what happened was a lot of sparks flying everywhere. Uh, the 200 amp fuse was glowing red and popped. I damn near had a heart attack. And here's what the problem was. This is the wire that I had into the uh, Eiley battery monitor. And if you've watched my earlier videos, you know, I've had a problem finding a wire small enough to fit in here. I had this wire uh, plugged in to right there uh, but it wasn't securely fastened and that was a major mistake so somehow without knowing it I had bumped bumped it slightly it became disengaged and it came up here to this screw it just popped up out of this little green junction box over to the power negative side and welded itself to that screw right there and then what ensued looked like a fireworks show there were sparks everywhere everything made a lot of noise i started freaking out of course and everything is shut down at the moment as you can see right there is where i had the <clears throat> reliable 3000 watt inverter it is no longer there I took it off tested it on another battery it's fine the precious chins batteries they're fine I've got them all disconnected just let, letting them sit there in parallel or yeah in parallel just waiting to get uh, everything hooked back up and after I finally settled down, got my heart rate back into a normal rhythm yesterday, I started running around town trying to find one of these ANL blade type fuses just so I could replace it there. Uh, not to be found anywhere. Uh, they're easily found on Amazon, of course, which is what I ultimately had to do last night is order a couple more of these. I did not have a spare or I would have it up and running already. So, huh, yeah, this is the scene of the crime. I'm not kidding you. Can't believe I did that. <clears throat> Kicking myself all across the room the past couple of days over this. Got pretty upset. But the good news is everything appears to be fine and the, the fuse did what it's supposed to do is it blew and protected everything else. So everything's okay, the inverter's fine. Like I said, I've tested it, the batteries are in good shape. 
That was my main concern. And I'm sure the charger is fine too. I haven't fired that up, but there's no reason that shouldn't be fine as well. Now this wire, <clears throat> later today I'm gonna uh, start reassembling everything. Uh, it's pretty well melted up here. Pretty well melted down along in here too from its little welding exercise that it did. So, <clears throat> I'm opening myself up to all kinds of ridicule, but there's nothing that can be said to me that I haven't said to myself yesterday. I really, really freaked out over that. That was a scary episode. I don't know how many sparks were flying around. Uh, that thing, like I said, this thing glowed like, like the sun is what it thought it looked like back here and you know the inverter up there it made a noise and as you can see the charge controller mt50 they're off of course solar panels disconnected but before i got uh, this all turned off i'd never seen an unhappy face on there but it had the the face on there with an upside down smile, so it was not happy. And it was a pretty good reflection of probably what my face looked like. So anyway, the moral of this story is, <clears throat> don't ever mess around trying to do what I did, like, you know, hand measure a, a piece of wire uh, while your system is up and running, because uh, you could inadvertently bump something and short your system out just like I did. Make sure you don't ever have anything that was just not secured uh, properly <clears throat> like I had done. So down and working on the backup system right now. I've been using some uh, another little backup solar system I've got so we're still up and running in the house. And just waiting on a couple of these to come in uh, next few days, fix it up. Next video, I hope to have everything up and running and show you guys. And I'm not likely to make that mistake ever again. It was pretty scary. I was just couldn't believe it. Anyway, the good news is everything's okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure my heart's going to make it. All right. Just wanted to put that out there so no one else has to do what I do. Aloha.